I'm Saul Bookman. I'm here with uh, Corey Williams. Week four is in the books now. We have about two weeks left not, uh, to include the playoffs. The kids' league, uh, you know, Pasco Yaki finally got their first win. And then they won again. So they won two in a row this weekend. Uh, what was your overall impressions about them this weekend? I was happy to see them get that first win, and then winning is contagious. They show up the next day. They come with the same fighting spirit. They lost a lot of close games uh, this season, but they were able to put it together and have a great weekend. I thought one of the, the main things that kind of stood out this weekend was um, the lack of players that kind of showed up from time to time from team to team. Uh, there was some key guys that missed from team to team. You know, you have Tejon Cook, who a week ago scores 39 points. He doesn't show up today, and his team loses. Same thing with Camden Gambrell. Doesn't show up today. Fabian Benitez didn't show up today. Um, these key players, how important is it for everybody to show up for their team so they can rely on them? Well, it's crucial because the way the teams are built, they've all got different levels of strength, but all teams have key guys that are supposed to be leaders on the floor. You get a team that misses one or two guys, and the next thing you know, a normal game that they should win or have a great or be competitive ends up with a loss. And, you know, it's the summertime. People travel, holidays, things of that nature happen. So that's the great thing about the league. You always have a shot because, like I said, people come and go. And for those guys, they're key guys. they got to show up for their teams to have a chance. Seems like the intensity is kind of ratcheting up uh, all the way across the board. In the men's league, uh, one team that really stood out this weekend was Osarco. Uh, two wins uh, today. They they dominated Casino Del Sol in overtime, but they battled back just to stay in that game and hit a, uh, hit a shot with seven seconds left with Caleb Hiley. Uh, what, what did you see from them this weekend, and do they have a chance to possibly win it all? Well, it's always difficult when you take 10 guys that have never played with each other and you put them on a team and there's no practices, there's very little coaching. So by week three, they figured it out on their own. So with the Sarko, what I've seen is they're more dialed in emotionally, mentally. They're tough. They get down early, but they find a way to win. They've got this teamwork, camaraderie. Everybody's in a positive mood. Those guys have learned how to play with each other, and they're doing a great job. All right, with one week re remaining in the regular season, uh, the kids will, the top two teams will only play for the championship, and then the men, uh, the top four teams will play in the semifinal. What are you looking forward to next week as teams kind of battle for position to play and to have the right to play in those games? Well, everybody's been having fun up to this point, and now you're at the point of how do we finish the summer? Do we get to finally play in the championship game where the last two kids' teams face off? And for the men, if you're in the top half of the league, you get a chance to play stopped clock, much different, the much different atmosphere for a playoff game. So now you get to see guys taking it up at a level because it really matters. Everybody wants to go home a champion. Uh, it, along with that, on that championship Sunday, if you will, the kids will play, the, the men will play, there will be an all-star game. The slam dunk contest, uh, yeah, I know you've publicized it, but why don't you tell the folks exactly how they can, can sign up and what are you looking forward to for that? There's a lot of great athletes that may not necessarily be the best basketball player. So when it comes to slam dunks, you never know what you're going to get. Um, we got a great sponsor, uh, Frank London and Ram Plumbing. $1,000 cash prize to the champion. It's open to the public. You don't have to be a player in the league. But if you got hops and you can put on a show, we want to see you. It's always great. We get a lot of great guys from Sierra Vista, from Tucson, from Phoenix, everybody competing. And they put on a great show for our fans. We're really looking forward to it. $1,000 cash prize. You heard it here, folks. Sign up if you can, if you can jump out the gym <laughs> because you can't have anybody below the rim. So uh, this is Corey Williams. I'm Saul Bookman. That will wrap up week four here at the TSPO.